Hi, uh, today I will teach you how to take the list of uh, open purchase orders. Generally, the open purchase orders means uh, we generally call like, uh, for example, which are pending for goods received or uh, which are pending for uh, invoice received. For example, you ordered a quantity of 100 and um, let me explain you. For example, pure quantity is 100. If GR quantity is 0 to 99, if we have done GR, if we, if we have not done any GR, then the quantity is 0, then also we call it as open PO. And also, if we have done 99 quantity, then that one quantity we can tell as the PO is having an open quantity of 1. Until you have done the 100, the PO is not closed with respect to the goods received. The same way we have an invoice, higher quantity, if we keep like 0 to 99 EA, then it is like an open PO for IR. And you can call it as open PO for GR. This is about the open concept. So for example, if you want to know the list of uh, open POs for GR or open POs for IR and also if you want to know the list of uh, POs for both GR and IR, both are open, how to take the list of POs in SAP. Today I will teach you about that. Uh, first we go to SAP. Okay. Let me go to SAP. Uh, first uh, the transaction slash an SC16. Or if you don't know the uh, thing like go to SC11 and uh, give the table EKPO which is that PO item level. Collect the field names. We have a two field names. Delivery completed indicator. See, delivery completed indicator ELIKZ and uh, final inverse indicator ERE-KZ. Now open the other screen. We can access either SC16 or SC16N. Go to SC16 and give the table EKPO. Here go to the field selections. See, go to settings and uh, select the fields for selection. Here give the fields which you require. One is ELI KZ, ELI KZ, see this is the field, select delivery complete indicator and also final invoice indicator. Now click enter. Now you will get the both the fields in the input screen. If you want to know the list of POs, see we got the fields delivery complete indicator and also final invoice indicator. First of all, if you want to know the list of POs which are pending only for delivery, then select no. Otherwise, you have to what you have to do? Go to this selection views. Okay, here we have an option of uh, you can exclude kind of maintain selection option. Otherwise, you can directly go to exclude single values. That also you can do go to exclude single values and give x x means delivery complete indicator you want to take the list of POs which are not having the delivery completed indicator as I mentioned here if the PO quantity is 100 and JR quantity is also 100 then see PO quantity 100 GR quantity is also 100. Then delivery completed indicator will be set. Means X automatically. Or else if you want to manually, if you want to close the PO, then also we can keep the delivery complete indicator. In the same way, PO count is 100 and uh, 
see PO quantity is 100 and IR quantity is 100 then the delivery complete indicator then the final inverse will be then the final invoice indicator you set automatically otherwise if you want to close you don't want to allow any future uh, inverse receipt then also we can keep the final invoice indicator so that's why I'm just excluding the list of delivery complete which are not having the delivery complete then execute which are not equals to X and uh, you can give the PO number any plant you can give 1000 the dates if you want to give any date otherwise you can execute you can see the number of entries here how many POs are there maybe you can give the date as 0101 2015 to 01 06 2016 just I am giving certain maybe I will give 06 2016 Zero one zero six two thousand fifteen. Now the number of entries one forty five. Okay, if you execute now, you will get the POs which are open in that period for that plant. Okay. Here you can see the how much quantity is pending for your GR. That details we can uh, get here. This is the list of POs which are open for GR in the specific period of time. If you want to know both invoice and GR, both are pending. Okay, then go to this is the final invoice indicator and come here. Go to again exclude val single values means you don't want the which are having the final deletion, final invoice flag. See, not equal to X, not equal to X down check see 144 POs are there if you select both of them now these 144 POs are open for both goods receipt and also open for invoice also if you want to know only open for delivery you have to select only open for delivery if you want to know only open for invoice you have to remove this and you have to keep only go to exclude single values and X then you will get the only open for invoice see only open for invoice 293 if you remove this 200 then you will get the all the 293 POS here what we have understand we can get from this table open POS irrespective with respect to goods receipt and open for GR or open for IR or open for both GR and IR this is the method how we follow uh, we use the settings field for selection for giving the additional inputs and all. I hope uh, this session is useful for you to get the list of uh, open POs. And um, thanks for your time. Have a good day.